welcome back everybody to Pleasant Valley 17 V2 here on Farming Simulator 17 Mr. Blue Farms woohoo all right how y'all doing today y'all doing all right well, it's good to hear I'm glad everybody's getting along got all my stuff here short up and stuff and uh Folks, I want to show y'all something. Let me get in, uh, maybe right here. I'm going to hit the question mark button, or the forward slash, what they saw. It's right there next to the right shift. If you hit it, pops up this little menu here. And you notice, uh, come on, mouse. Oh, Lord, I can't get my mouse to work. Well, it's working, but I can't get the, uh, whatchamacallit to, well, anyway, as you can see there, soybeans is highlighted in like a teal green or whatever. And the price is $2,334. And I guess it is $60,800 somewhere. I don't know. Really don't know what that means. I need to get my... Maybe I need to jump in the truck real quick. Let me do that. Got my remote here. Ah, here we go. And you see right here, this is at uh, Mary's Farm right here under shops. And it's highlighted as teal green. And I got three hours. Is that where it shows up three hours? To get this here. But as you can see, pretty much. I got 65,878 in soybeans. Got a daggum mosquito. Oh, I caught him. All right, good. Won't be bothering me no more. But anyway, let's go dump this before that uh, three hours is up, okay? I got 93,791 now. And uh, let's see what this brings us. Oh, look at that money coming up. Look at, oh. Whoa. 153,760. Holy cow, folks. What the? Holy cow. We need to plant some soybeans quick. That was a lot of money. Well, I better not destroy Miss Mary's crops, sir. But folks, we're going to be doing just some random stuff. I got some things to show y'all today. Um, also, uh, I've done some things in the last, uh, between the last episode that I did record. And I'm going to show them in as soon as I show you all this. Remember this big old trailer? I don't know if I bought it last episode or, or what or in between, but. This is the, uh, well, let me hop in and show y'all. But it don't show right there, does it? I think this is the Wilson Livestock Trailer. But as you can see, I got 42 pigs on here. Okay? 42 pigs. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But I'm going to record a... I can't do it because I'm recording. So I said I want to record a course play from here back to the pig farm. But I will try to do that off screen because it records better. Not that it don't record good when I'm recording the film, but uh, just typing in the letters and stuff. Like I used to not hit, be able to hit G at all. Now I switch it over to L, and uh, yeah, I can't hit L no more. It pulls up a uh, crater thing. I'll show you that real quick. So it pulls that up, crater tools. So yeah. But anyway, I'm fixing to insert a clip here, and uh, y'all can watch it, and then when it's over with, I'll be at the pigs. But it's uh, just me selling some stuff off screen between the last episode and this episode. 
So uh, y'all sit back, enjoy it, and I'm going to insert it right now. All right, folks. I made it up here. And I think I'm going to have problems. Lady, will you move out of the way? Uh, sir, I'm trying to get through here. Will you please? Oh, uh, your other one's going to have to wait. I made it this far. I ain't dropped nothing yet. Oh, look at you walk right through my trailer. You... You are so awesome. I'm riding the curve there, folks. Trying to get the trailer over far enough. Um, I got the corn harvester thing there. Uh, front of that is the stump grinder. Uh, cultivator. Plow. Two of the small planters. The skid steer with its bucket. Uh, probably could get some more by knock the skid steer back a little bit. So, uh, yeah. So, anyway, I just wanted y'all to see all this. Now, this is from, uh, I'm not getting anything, whatever, so this. is. Now, that's bad. I'm going to park this baby right here. Um... Yeah, on the back trailer. Whoa. Um. Anyway, last week episode, I just went ahead and done this and recorded it then. So this is from last week. So the money and time, everything might be messed up. So I don't know when I'm going to insert this. Um. Let's just grab that. This is one thing I'm glad about the Kentucky truck. It's got the three-point hitches on the front and back. So, yeah, we can get some of this stuff. I want to get these planters off next. So I can get that skid steer off and get that piece off the back of this truck. Unless I swing it out first. Whichever one comes first. I'll be happy with. Oh, I knocked the other one off. Alright, as you can see, the planters are empty. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them right here. I didn't get the chance to bring the tractors because they wouldn't fit. So I'll probably go back and get that. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'll... Oh, this is confusing. Like I said, this is recorded in advance, folks. Uh, to me, it's this episode, but uh, to y'all, it's going to be the last episode. Uh, or, I mean, this episode. Oh, never mind. I'm getting myself confused. All right. Come on, little buddy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, come on, you can do it, come on, it, there we go. We'll push that on back, I know that ain't realistic, but, okay. As I said, we're going to sell this bad boy too. We're going to trade them in, get the one with the tracks, and it's going to go to the pigs. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we gotta get the truck. We gotta get the truck. Get this one last one here. Oh, I forgot about the thing in the back. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get that hooked up. Get the skits there real quick. Get that piece off. I had a Bobcat one downloaded, but I don't know if y'all remember it or not in other, other episodes, but go ahead and tell y'all a little bit about it. 
is uh, the tires was in the ground. That's right, folks. The tires is halfway in the ground. It would have been a great mod if it wasn't for that. Well, let me saw the building now. I don't think Mr. Morgan would like that. Uh, take that one down. Turn it around. Should be all right right there. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. But now I just want to go ahead and do this uh, and get it sold so y'all can see it. And that would be in the future episode that I'm fixing to do, which is this episode to y'all. That, that gets confusing. I want to back to the future got confusing. All right, I'm going to uh, just leave that like it is. I'm just going to switch to the front. There we go. That way, uh, I can get to this. All right, there we go. Um, I'm gonna walk over here. Did I get the? That's the uh, pallet for it. I guess I didn't get the bucket for it. Okay, we're gonna sell this real quick. See what it brings us. Oh God, I gotta slow slow that down. Twelve thousand. That ain't too bad. I was hoping to get more for it. Because we're going to have to, I'm going to have to harvest some fields and get us a planter for uh, Robert's farm. And it needs a fertilized buggy over there. Every farm needs one thing of each. All right, there we go. 48000 That's a good price for it. All right, one more thing. All right, good. Everything's sold. I'm going to go ahead and get that skid steer now before I forget about it. And see, so we got this and that. The other one was a Bobcat uh, S180, I believe. And it looked pretty neat. It was white. I just kind of like this. It had, you know, the tires and the tracks. And uh, yeah, I see. Go ahead and buy this one, sixty-four thousand. Not bad at all. And uh, we're gonna buy this bucket. Yeah. And uh, folks, this bucket it probably won't get used. But um, yeah. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I can say so myself. JCB, that's what I'm talking about right there. Let's see here. I'm going to get out for a second. Just long enough to do this. Back in here and click it C. Take a screenshot. Yeah, okay. I'm done with that now. And uh, let's see here. I'm going to haul this to the pig farm, but I will be doing it here shortly off screen. Just want y'all to see. Uh, only thing I wish they would uh, actually do is make the boom extend out. Make it a little bit taller. But other than that, it's pretty good. I think it'll load those pig food pallets just perfectly. All right, uh, back to a regular episode, folks. All right, folks, what do y'all think about that? So quite a few stuff, and that's from, uh, I believe it's Robert's Farms. It's the one that's way over on the west side. 
and uh, I'll pull this stop right here and show you all this. I've been trying to fill this thing up with as much as stuff as I can get from uh, the top west farm, which is all covered up in the writing. But uh, yeah, I got quite a bit in here. As you can see, I done made one there, and that's done made one, two, three, four, five. And uh, yeah, that probably could hold a couple scoops of that. Uh, Bobcat's over there, well, not Bobcat, JCD Skid Scare, Skid Steer is over in that far and over there. Oh, there come auto save. I need to cut some trees, folks, but you can't cut trees unless you have a permit. If you don't have a permit, you... Oh, Lordy. I think it was, what, 20,000 of tree? So, yeah, it is just not worth it. All right. But I have been busy, and I will show y'all some of that here in just a minute. Forgot how to unload. Uh, Wilson Livestock Trailer. Livestock Trailer. I'll say it right. Uh, we're going to unload these little piggies. And folks, I I'm sorry I was out of commission for a couple of days there. Bad toothache. And I still got a bad toothache. Let's see. Let's confirm that. Yes. All right, we whoa, whoa tree. Holy cow! Back right over the fence. Uh, let's check the livestock real quick. Oh, we need to pay some of that loan back too. I've been working on that too. I got it down to uh, what is it? One million one hundred eighty thousand. I should have never borrowed two million dollars. That was unreal. Holy cow. Yeah, we're going to have to feed them some water and, and straw. Okay, that's, that's some good stuff. Uh, uh, let's go over here and get the bobcat real quick. Any, many, there we are. Okay, and I think the rest of these are empty or should be empty. Yeah, they all empty. Now, when you get in, all the attachments, no matter where you're at, is undetached. So, I, I kind of like that in a way. Alright, I, I like this idea, but I don't know how long we'd be using this thing. It's kind of kind of easy and kind of hard. Know what I mean? See how it kind of does this little thing there? I guess because you can't get right on the. Yeah, I like get right there. And it wants to catch right when and do that. Come on, baby. I want to work off of there. Okay, I never had it do that before. Holy cow, is it that heavy? Back up. Get it on my flat surface. Oh, it is pretty heavy, ain't it? Might get some kind of auto loading trailer down here. To load them up. Wish I had a, a whoa, a weight to the back of this. That would be pretty neat. I don't know how many of these are gonna take. Set it right there. It seems to be going down. Oh, come on, get off. <laughs> get off. Anyway, I want to thank all y'all for my subscriber count, 125, 126 subscribers. 
that's unreal, folks. That is like totally awesome. Y'all are awesome. That's what it is. That's all it is to it. Y'all are awesome. All right, let's see if we can do this here. Uh oh. Now, oh, back up, back up, back up. I just got to get used to driving this thing. And getting used to driving something. There's something out in the woods that I need to show y'all. I think I already showed y'all last time, but I'm not for sure. Oh, Lordy. There we go. Oh, slide down those forks. Oh, no. Here comes the train. Really? This one only got 508 in it. Oh my god. I need to pay attention. Yeah, that went right real quick. Alright, at least they're half. Well, not really half, but they're good for right now. We got 42 pigs. And folks, I'm going to let them get to like 500, and then I'm going to start selling them out. That's all I'm going to buy right there. 42. I actually went two over my limit, so I wanted a full load. But I was going to get 40 and cut off right there. So, uh, next thing we're going to work on is cows. And I'll probably get 40 of those, or 20 or something, go from there. So, yeah. Show y'all the view of this thing. It is not very pleasant. It, it's about real life. But, you know, li real life, you can actually lean up and see where your forks are at. And this thing here, oh my goodness. Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Let's see. Up, down. Oh, oh, oh. I knew it was going to do that. I knew it was going to do that. I'll probably go back down here in just a second. Oh, okay. good. 4,000. So we get an auto load trailer. We'll just pull up in here and bam, load them. And, you know, if this thing's producing too much, which I doubt it will right now, you know, we're going to take a lot of crops to this thing to get it to producing a lot. So when we get more fields, yeah. But anything, well, the same that I go, I just want to thank all y'all folks. You know, y'all are awesome. And, um, we really appreciate it. And, uh, Come a couple of days from now, uh, next Tuesday, I'm going to try to have some videos recorded in advance. I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not. Because this tooth is still hurting. But next Tuesday, I'll go to the dentist and I get four of them pulled. That's right, folks. Four of them gets pulled. Four of my front ones. Uh... Two of them's broken off, and the third one's almost broken off. And he said the one in the middle is real bad. And if it does what he thinks he's going, going it's going to break off during surgery. So he's just going to pull all four. All right, I'm going to get out here. And uh, there's our grasshopper right there. Um, yeah, got some new stuff up here. I was going to show y'all this real quick since we got our money up there real quick. Yeah, almost uh, 151,000 liters. Turn this on. Just make sure it says R, folks, up there, and it should work. Look at that money. Look at that money. But if you look behind me right there at the other one for fuel, I, I wasted quite a bit. For some reason, it's not registering. Uh, what happened? I 
Ah, oh, must be full. Let's be, yep, it's full. So, I couldn't see how much we got off that. We're at 270,000. And this is going to be very painful, folks. Come on, get off. This is over here at Robert's Farm. It's where all that junk came from now. Just got through showing you in that clip. We have that tractor, that, those two, uh, one, two, three, four row corn header, two medium size or low size trailers, uh, uh, weeder, and this tractor here. Uh, all these are empty. That's got quite a bit of seeds in it, but I did bring fertilizer and seeds up here. And this thing's got quite a bit. Reason for there's a fill over and a fill over here. And it's time for a harvest. But there are three, 311,000. I actually should have done, jumped onto this and got these two fields. But got some other things to show y'all. Um, cook farm here. I got some uh, power food back here in the making. Then took a load and put into the cows. I'm glitching here badly. But I got a front loader right there for this tractor. Planter, cultivator, and plow back there. Another small trailer. And this thing here. So folks, I really don't need this tractor. I really don't don't need this thing here and I sure don't need this front loader over here alright but what I'm getting around to showing y'all is I got two, two or three new tractors, but I did do some uh, field work, mission work, and I forgot about this field of sugar cane here. We got to get it worked up and get it planted. We got a lot of planting we got to do. I don't know if we get it done all in this episode or not, but this farm here needs two good tractors. And, um, yeah, I mean, we got a good combine. All right. I don't think it's going to be. I'll drop that right there. Y'all see that? It's skipping like it's lagging. I think we got too much stuff open on the map. Okay. I'm going to do it in front of y'all's eyes. Man, I wish you didn't have to back up and do that every time. I guess nerve wracking. Especially when you're in a hurry. In a hurry to catch the wind, man. Uh oh. We're fixing a hug and kiss. Oh, went right through. All right, folks. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go back through this again. Come on. Switch over. Still got this guy down here in the salt area. We're going to swap him out, probably bring a track hole or something else down here. Oh, yeah. I forgot about my truck here. Um, we need to get harvesting, folks. So, I'm going to hook this guy up to this trailer. Look how bad I'm backing. Usually don't back that bad. Let's go in here and get our harvester. I wish you can use a button on the uh, 
Xbox One controller. But as you can see, there's nothing in here. What the heck happened? Where's all the stuff? Well, I have the scratcher and this one. Culvator, whatever you want to call it. Uh, T8 there. T8 here. Uh, the Pinto 9DC planner. And then our corn planter there. That one's empty. Took some of the other T8s to... Uh, why can I not think of that farm over there? Evans, I think. It'll be the top right farm. Not right farm, but the top farm over there. I don't know this going to give. I don't know what we actually got here. I'm just going to start cutting. See what we got. Soybeans. Okay. No, no straw there. So. Oh, we still got the man. All right, good. We got to beat that rain too. Um. This one I kind of hate having so much stuff. All right, to close this off, we don't have very much stuff in this and go down this end. We need one tractor outside, yeah. I always leave one tractor outside, folks. Which you, you can do what you want, but I'm just saying, if you leave one tractor outside, you know, you can skip all that stuff in there when you're tabbing around and you'll just tab the this tractor here and it makes it a whole lot easier. And our sheeps are doing pretty good. I don't know if we're going to get queen sheep down here or not. But I did buy the Lily Juno. I hope I'm saying that right. And I put the power supply over here. And. The, but we ain't, ain't really got no wool yet. We will. Let's see where we're at. 332 on a wool. Which I haven't really fast forward time since I started playing this. I've just been on the regular time. Alright. Jason doing good there. We need a... Uh... Sorry about that folks. I'm trying to kill another mosquito. Oh. Okay, good, good. This is right where I wanted to be. I was fertilizing this field here. Uh, get this pulled up. Let me get this, uh, yeah, that Spectre mod off and get that off. You can't really see it on that. Let me go to this side. Y'all probably don't want to see this anyway. But anyway, 35 and 34 is ours. I'm wanting to buy 33 and 32. Okay, I thought about putting this all as one feel, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, the simple fact is, what is that right there? Oh yeah, folks, there's supposed to be nine of those things all together. I found one here. Oop. And then there's one like right in here somewhere. And then there's one way over here. And I think these woods right here. That's where was, the fuel trailer was there. And the semi truck was there. Um, over down here was like a uh, fertilized, I mean, a manure spreader. And up here was the weeder. So I got five more to find. But anyway, I'm wanting to buy this other field right here. Well, I got this much money. She's wanting me to plow it. I don't want to plow it. It's going to take almost an hour to plow it. So I'm losing money. But I think it's going to be worth it. We're down to 143,000, and that feels ours now. Okay, let me uh, shimmy on over here. 
to this next field. It might be a little bit. I don't know. If we can get some more of that silage to go through. 553,000. She's wanting to plow. I might plow this one after the epi you know, after the episode is up. I don't really know how long I've been recording. About 27 minutes plus the 10 minute clip. So about 37 minutes. So, oh, look here. Dang, I missed them. I, I'm sorry, folks. I guess my kids left the door open too long. I've got a bunch of mosquitoes in here. I don't know if I got enough fur lines to finish this. I doubt it. 765 liters left. But we're going to try it. get my full potential here. I think it should be about right there. Does this not need fur lines? No, it needs plow. Oh, no, they don't need fur lines. It just needs to be plowed. Okay, so both of these need to be plowed. All right, so having said that, I guess I need to get out of the way. Um, while we're plowing, folks, I got plans for these two fields to get a little bit bigger. Right, whoa, where my, where'd my tractor go? Get the prototype here. We're going to drive on across here. And let's see here. Oh crap, I skipped it. As you can see, this one's got seeds in it. Okay. But I'm low. I'm low. I don't know if I can load seeds from here or not really don't and as you can see the back one is completely empty I'm just gonna leave it right there um let's go to this barn first you can see it's got a lot of stuff in it whoa okay uh these two trailers planter cultivator Consider them gone, okay? Uh, along with this plow and this tractor. They're going to be gone. Alright. See another plow right over there? I mean, it must mean I have another tractor somewhere. Watch for the train track. Trains can be tricky. I needed to wait for this. You can see the front wanting to fly like an eagle. All right, we're going to go on across here, folks. Um, what was this one? You think I would know by now? Evans. Okay. Shift. See, this is still under white, so we're going to. Hit E while we're holding shift. It pulls it up like that. And we're going to go down to Evans. And then hold shift and hit E. It brings it up under Evans. So, yeah. That's how you do that, folks. All right, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to try for right there. And as you can see, oh crap, well, I'm going to have to fix that. Okay, hire a worker from there. Oh, we might scoot over this a little bit. I don't know.
Let's see. Don't want to screw over that much. This is about right there. See if that makes a difference in that ridge there. No, not really. Okay. Anyway. Holy cow, I forgot about Jason. Mm, I think he can finish that field. Sorry, beans ain't going to do very much, but yeah. Alright, uh, let's see if we can put some more in this. And folks, when you do this, oh, it's going to take a lot. Okay. 21,000. We can handle that. When you do this here, when it goes through this one, it gives you money. But over here, as you can see, we have 4% digestate. Digestate makes fertilizer. Fertilizer can make seeds wrong with, uh, put grain and stuff in it. Um, God, I hate cycling through all this stuff again. Um... There we go. I, I think y'all already seen this. Uh, in the shop menu, there's two of these. Okay. This one is slow. I don't know about the oven, but as you see how the tires are turning. Okay. The other one swivels in the middle. That's the difference between the two. They're both 25,000 liters capacity on the uh, bucket there. Uh, we're down here, get my map pull up, down here at the very bottom right, you can see that big old round circle, yeah, way down there, there's a sludge pocket there, a silt, um, I don't know if this works or not, let me try it, mark, Oh, right there it is. Tree is marked. Okay, how do you unmark it? Anyway, folks, that's how you... It's a new mod called Tree Marker. And it marks trees for it to be cut. So, uh, yeah, I can go through here and... It's going to put it on the opposite side. That's not really good, but yeah. Um, I think y'all seen this sudden over here. This is what I brought the uh, loader out with. And uh, yeah, that's Caterpillar Travers. And Caterpillar Mod is like 16 of them all together. And uh, it's pretty neat. Get in it. Oh. Forgot about this guy. I'm almost going to hit the tree. Uh, enable straw width. Yes, yeah, because we want to lay the straw down. It's barley, so it will lay down straw. Oh, Lordy, we need a truck over here. Um, Wow, he's a long ways up. No, he ain't. He's right around the corner. Duh. So, folks, we, uh, I guess I'm going to save the best for last. I, I still ain't showed you what's inside Evan's other barn. And it's big. I'm telling you, it's big. I'm going to cut across this man's field. Hopefully he ain't home and watch me. Uh, okay, Jason has completed his task, so that's good. All right, and booze on the other combine there. I keep forgetting about the uh, soybeans having a sale. I think there's another field of soybeans here. I'll 
park that right there. Let's see, shift. Okay. That's one thing I like about that uh, group switcher. It really works if you uh, program it right. You know what I mean by programming. Set it up right. All you do is, you know, just put your all your combines under one if you want to. Or in this case, I put everything that's on this farm under group one. And I think I called it right. You know, see, right farm, cook farm, Johnson farm. And I still got a couple groups left. And that's going to be for like salt. And uh, we're going to probably get a rock hauler. Yeah, you heard me right, folks. A rock hauler. And I start getting some rocks made. Or crushed. That's up at the very top right up there. And uh, above 32 there, you can see there's popcorn sudden. I need to make a... Uh, course play route up there because that's a long ways. All right. I'm going to go and start on this far corner. And uh, I don't know if this is beans or. Nope, this is barley. Um. There we go. All right, Jason back. Got some straw hanging out. This straw is going to be for the pigs. We'll have to get another loader wagon. We're going to bring a loader wagon down here. Uh, another one of those big rakes. Uh, let's see here. That really ain't going to help us. Um, let's go empty this out real quick. And I'm actually glad I was able to record on, uh, well, it's going to be a, a full hour video time I'm done. Because, um, you know, it, it's, I don't like not making videos. You know, I, I love making videos for y'all. I know they're probably boring somewhat because I'm not really, you know, I'm not an entertainer like Diesel Designs. Um, I guess you can say I'm more, I'm between Daggerin and Brad M73. I'm between those two. I'm not by the books like Daggerin is, but I'm kind of like Brad M73 in a way. Um, and I can't leave out our famous, famous Kentucky farmer. Uh, I wish I could do <coughs> tutorials like he does. I'm so sorry about that. You can't hardly say that word for some reason. And, um, yeah, you know, this is one of his trucks. That's awesome truck. Check this out. It's a Kentucky Farmer XL. This is the extension one, which can pull trailers, these box trailers. And yeah, and nothing stops a Kentucky. Except for another Kentucky. All right, he's empty. I got to, uh, I get back over to, over here. Yeah. Oh, no. Guess I'll run real quick. Well, folks, like I said, this is big. Both of them's big. That's in this barn. And no, well, maybe one of them's a big bud. Maybe, but the other's not. So what could it be? I'm going to hold my head down. Ah, y'all saw it. Ah, okay, I can't do that. Here we go, folks. Check it out. Come on, open the door. Open. There we go. 
All right, I'm going to start on this side first. Y'all know about the high mine we had down here. I moved it down here, and uh, yeah, 45 foot header, uh, 16 row corn head. Um, we had the Brent, what is that, 1596 chaser bin, whatever you want to call it. Folks, check it out. Oh, God, I can't move. It's a 620 case quad track. It's got fire symbols all over it. And we have the Big Bud 747. This is a little guy. But he stands tall with the Big Bud. We got the Seahawk Planner. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, Seahawk. And uh, is there anything over here? No. I put the dual wheels on the back, make it look a little bit more better. Um, on the back of this, and show y'all real quick. I'm not going to pull them out right now, but I had to get the. Uh, I don't show what I'm hooked up to. Let's see if this does. Oh yeah, Mr. Blue, and, uh, and this is all tickle it. But anyway, this sucker goes up to, and it's fast, folks. I had to slow it down. Was it 39? Yeah, 39 mile an hour. I was going to get to T9. But I got, I went down and I got stuck in the ground. The camera did. So we might still have a T9 coming pretty soon. I forgot what was going on. The beacon works. The front light works. Back light works. Yes, you can see them on the ground. The first and the second one. But the third one you can't. The T9 smart tracks lights work on it but it don't show on the ground so at night time you can't see nothing let me uh just take it out show y'all but um it's got great speeds it gets power up fast look at it swinging the plane around but it stops way fast i mean it's like it's got brakes on or something which it might have i don't know but um, the cycle through, we got corn, potatoes, sugar beets, wheat, barley, canola. Come on, change. We got soybeans, oilseed radishes, grass, sunflowers, and corn that we can plant with fishing. The other one would not plant corn. So that's why I got it. Uh, crap. I see here. I need to take this tractor. Since it's got the narrow wheels. Yeah, let me park this planter. Uh, right there. We're going to run over here to this uh, barn. And get the uh, other plow. Well, that's why it was there. But folks, I don't know if I'll do it off screen or not. But uh, uh, the rest of this stuff needs to whoa. Let's do the inside cab. Y'all ain't seen that. Look at those swings there. What I like about this and it has the three point hitch. So that's why I got it. The four did too. Uh, Got the good buddy seat there. I'll get this thing outside and uh, going towards that field. You know, it's kind of jumpy on the inside when we're going, but let's see here. Not too much controls, you know, pretty basic. Got things up there where we can put a radio. There's a regular radio for music, heater controls. The plain Jane, a couple mirrors. So, yeah. It's pretty nice. 
Um, don't know how it pulls and stuff. But yeah, let's see, let's watch this train, make sure it ain't coming. I hate to get smacked with a new tractor. Oh, oh, sorry about that, folks. I forgot to turn it off. But anyway, I was telling you all about making these fields bigger. I have one, two, three, four fields. But what I was thinking about is making them bigger. And uh, do that right here. What I'll probably do is make a pass down through here. And scoot that over just a little. Let me get rid of this stuff real quick. And this. And I don't need that, but all a great path. I'm going to scoot that over about right there. I'm going to put my satellite on. Now, this is where I don't know how good it's going to work with an articulating tractor. It's going to be kind of rough, but I think once it gets pretty straight, it should be okay. I'll drop that like it's hot. Crate fields. I'm going to get rid of this here so we can see. And then I'm going to go. Now I'll probably take a roller or something, bring it down here, clean the edges up with. But, uh,. Probably going to um, plow these fields, create them bigger, sell some stuff off screen, you know, do some of this plowing off screen. Try to raise some money to buy that field over there and get it plowed. And maybe next time we come back, we're planting these fields. I don't know if y'all want me to go through this stuff fast to me i feel i need to go slow you know instead of harvest plant harvest plant i want to go like maybe you know this episode we're plowing come back in the next episode we're probably planting and fertilizing again after it and then the next episode we're doing something with animals and then the next episode we harvest you know that way it's just not no Plant, harvest, plant, harvest, and get bored. You know what I mean? But y'all yeah, leave the comments down below what you think about everything. And like I said, we'll probably get one or two more tractors for over here. Um, right now, we have the Big Bud. We had a Case Quad Track. And we got the T8. And then we get that little guy right there, which I'm probably going to sell him and get something like a, uh, uh, we don't need nothing over here with a front loader. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe like a small 7800 or something like that, John Deere tractor or something. Let's see, I want to stop this and right here i see i'm gonna go out a little, little further i'm gonna have to clean up the edges so uh, that's done there i gotta get a permit cut these trees down probably gonna buy that field in the next field too this be our big farm over here for our uh popcorn setting get a lot of corn and uh, stuff like that. But I'm going to let him plow some. The other guy plow some. And uh, I got to go up and get some fertilized. Go check out the big bud here. I'm not going to plant this episode. But I do want to show y'all. Uh, this uses sugar cane. So that's one of the reasons why I got it. I don't know why it's saying wheat. We have to uh, 
There we go. Sugar cane on top of sugar here. Huh. That's weird. Well, anyway, y'all seen this before. This uh, plain Jane. Like a Frank liner inside in a way. I love it. Uh, there was something else I was wanting to show y'all. Oh, cool. This one's done. We'll get back to that here in just a second. Um, see, we get a little bit more money here. This is what I probably do is uh, put the mower working, get some more grass, and these babies here. This is our money maker and our digestate maker. All right, empty out. 19,000 that time, that ain't bad. Yeah, get some more fuel working somehow or another. I don't know how that's going to work. Probably just going to pour some on the ground and load it in there by bucket. Um, yeah, there's our guy right there. There's our guy right there. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, okay, turn around. Yeah, folks, I need to make a uh, path up that road right there. It's, you can see it right over. And uh, I don't think this track's going to go that way, but I don't think that road's going to go that way. But right up in there, uh, yeah, within those trees there is Popcorn Sutton. And that's where we really need to go. But anyway, I, I got to get some more seeds. I I'm, don't know I'm going to use this. Oh, my God. Get on the front loader. There we go. Uh, that's what I hate about this track here. This one's not right. I'll probably just take the seed out of this. I got something else in mind. And it's over on Johnson Farm. And, uh, yeah, there goes the boot. Let's see here. Let's get back around here. It is very, very laggy. Oh. Well, anyway, folks, I can't find it right now. Where's well, that Johnson Farm? I was just past Johnson. I, I had to buy another one of these trucks here. Um, because it's got a fertilizer a bed to it. Y'all seen it? And um, we can use it to transport um, the fertilize and seeds. Well, we'll have to get two of the trailers. Um, show y'all right quick. Is this thing right here? It says fertilized spreader, but as you can see, it's on a trailer. We need a trailer like that to slide under this guy, and then have another one of these put on that truck. And it's got an auger right there, as you can see. And uh, of course, I painted this in white because I was going to use it for fertilizer. Um. I've been bringing fertilizer down to here, putting some over, some fuel, so we need to do stuff like that. Maybe next time we'll work on a uh, permit for the trees. And uh, At least y'all got to see a great demand on the soybeans. That was awesome. But folks, uh, it's over the hour. So, I got to get off here. Like I said, I'll, I'm going to try to make videos up to Tuesday and try to get some past Tuesday. But, uh, Tuesday, the 11th of July, I go get my teeth pulled. So, please bear with me if I, I don't have no videos up for a couple days after that. It's because of my tooth. It's not because I'm quitting. I'm not planning on quitting. But this medicine is making me very tired and hard to 
get my breath. As you can see, I'm probably huffing and puffing through this. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to... Oh, I hate when it does that. I'm going to put some of this crap away. Not crap, but this equipment. Y'all know what I mean. Wish I had a long place for this uh, animal trailer, but I don't. But we need uh, another... Keep this semi here for the animal trailer. And uh, get us another small trailer to haul straw and stuff around. And we got straw in that right there and those two tanks over. And then uh yeah. But anyway folks, like I said I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna finish these fields, put this equipment and stuff away. Probably get this guy mowing some grass. On uh, uh, filling these tanks back up, but other than that, I'm gonna get off here so I can get this uploaded and ready for y'all tomorrow or, or today for y'all or whatever you know. Is this ready to mow yet? I'll mow the outside edges and do course play probably. Well, folks, once again, I want to say. Thank you very much for being part of my family. Um, yeah. So if y'all want to, hit that like button on your way out. Share me with your friends. Only if you want to. And um, I guess I'll see y'all next time, folks. Like I said, if I don't have a video up, don't think nothing about it. It's just, I just don't feel good. Because it's tooth and stuff. But anyway, other than that, I will see y'all in the next episode. Uh, what is the next episode? Go Crest Rally Xbox One. So, uh, hope to see y'all there. And I'm getting off here, folks. Y'all have a great day. A blessed day. And I will see y'all later. Bye.